In this show, I'm going to take a look at a couple of caravans from Marquis Leisure's Sussex dealer site. I'm going to start with this big beauty. It's the Buccaneer Clipper from Eldis, which is a concept-based manufacturer of caravans and motorhomes. So Buccaneer is Eldis's flagship range and it features four models. This clip is actually a 2013 model, but the changes for 2014 are absolutely minimal. So it's built using Eldis's solid construction method. It's a structural bonding method that means the wall, the floors and the roof of the caravan are all joined to each other using adhesives or glue rather than screws. This means that Eldis can offer a 10 year body shell water integrity warranty. It's that confident that it won't leak. As you can see, it's a big old twin axle van, so you'll need a big 4x4 to tow it. But I reckon most people who attempt it by look at it as a seasonal van, which they'll install on a pitch at their favourite site all year round. It's based on a BPW chassis and is fitted with a stabiliser and anti-snaking device. It also gets alloy wheels and heavy duty corner steadies. It's got tough GRP skin sidewalls that are finished in eye-catching silver, and it even has a GRP skin to the underside of its floor. As you can see, all the windows are flush fitting. The clipper is absolutely loaded with goodies on the outside of the van. You've got an external shower point, you've got this gas barbecue point. You've also got a 230 volt electric plug socket that you can access from outside the van from the comfort of your awning. And there's even an external satellite point and 12 volt TV aerial point. Step inside the clipper and you quickly see it features today's most fashionable layout and that is of course twin fixed single beds towards the rear and that massive rear washroom. It's a really big van, it's nearly 7 metres long internal length so you can see that there's loads and loads of space to manoeuvre. Up front there's a pair of facing sofas and it's a nice comfortable lounge. The cabinet work looks and feels chunky throughout with nice dark ash tones. The soft furnishing is really nicely finished with the burgundy detailings for the scatter cushions and for the curtains. And notice that the curtains on the side walls are on poles rather than on rails, which is a, an attractive feature. LED lighting throughout is another plus, and of course you get these chunky shaped bolster cushions. You control the luxury Audi wet central heating system from a control panel here next to the door. And when you bear in mind that you have posh details such as the pleated blind, the patterned wallboard, and the fact you even get a flat screen TV thrown in which sits on a bracket next to the door, you realise this is a van that really oozes luxury. Let's take a look at the kitchen next. It's a, it's a really strong area. As you can see, it's L-shaped, and just look how chunky that worktop is. You've got this large swan neck tap, this large steel basin with a, a built-in drainer, as you can see, both the sink and the hob have glass lids which double as food preparation space. The hob has three gas burners and a, an electric hot plate, and as you can see, it's built into the worktop. There's a separate oven and grill directly beneath. And as you can see here, there's actually a, a kitchen work extension here for a little bit of extra food preparation space. Overhead, you've got your drinks cabinet. There's room for six wine glasses. There's even room for four bottles, uh, a wine rack there, which I reckon will get some good use. Overhead, you have this Omnivent three-way extractor fan to rid all the cooking smells from Chef's workspace. And across the galley, you have this really large Dometic fridge freezer and above it, a microwave at chest height. So no worry about spilling things at eye level. It's all nicely fronted in black, all beautifully colour coordinated. I think it's a really great kitchen. The freestanding table has its own dedicated storage point next to the entrance door. It's quick and easy to get to, and it's not stashed in the washroom, which for me is a, a plus. The beauty of this van's layout is that it's a really flexible sleeping arrangement. The prime sleeping berths are these two here in the rear. They're twin fixed single beds. The longer of which is on the near side, it's about six foot four, and a slightly shorter one on the off side. Really chunky mattresses, nice and deep, so they're really comfy. You've got nice little shelves for storing knickknacks. Both sides have a directional reading light, and they're separated from the front sleeping quarters by a concertina partition blind. If you want to turn that front lounge into a double bed, it's quick and easy to do. Simply pull out the slatted base from beneath the central chest, and luckily those slats are mounted on runners, so they glide out nice and easily. Then you drop in the backrest cushions, and voila, you have a lovely fixed transverse double bed. 
And so it's to the washroom, which is this Van Star feature. As you can see, it's simply massive. Behind me is this massive shower cubicle. It's fully lined and it has that gray slate effect tiling, which I think looks really nice. It also has this clever little slide out drying rack. which is a really clever little feature. It's good to see that there are hooks for hanging clothes and towels. And there's also a chrome effect toilet roll holder. You have a granite effect, really quite stylish basin. And finally, there's this full length wardrobe. As you can see, it offers rails for two hang heights, full length and half height. Now I mentioned that this is a 2013 clipper. The 2014 version has a, a larger 65 watt solar panel on the roof and another little thing such as the fact you can control the Audi wet central heating system from your mobile phone. One thing's for sure is that the luxury sector of the caravan market is stronger than ever. But that said, even as it stands, the Buccaneer is without doubt one of the most luxuriously equipped caravans on the market today.